It's a self-watering grow bag garden. Basically, all you have to do is turn on a hose and leave it on. Uh, and then there's a timer that will automatically water every single individual grow bag. So you have a micro irrigation system that uh, it drips water directly into each plant. Um, that way it saves a lot of water and you don't actually have to come and visit the urban garden. And then also I have a, a soil moisture sensors that allows you to remotely see like, okay, are my plants drying out? Do I need to water them? Do I need to turn on the timers and stuff like that? So to set up something like this, the resistance was, okay, well, first of all, should we be giving community funds to this very individual project, which doesn't really support community interaction the way we've experienced community interaction before? And can we justify this to everybody else who's going to question it later? And once that's gotten over and you can see that, yeah, first of all, it's, it's not a big deal, either of them, to handle properly, you can set up a, a wonderful system like this. Kids from the neighborhood like come by and I will show them like how a potato plant looks like. They were like honestly amazed, right? 80 grow bags, but I want to grow it up to about uh, 3,000 for, for next year because, uh, well, I'm doing a, a crowdfunding campaign to raise the money to do that. Um, and I think I can grow at least 15,000 pounds of food that I'm gonna donate to the community. The, the biggest goal is that if we get a, a garden like this going, this becomes a focus for a different type of urban agriculture that the city can incorporate and looks to the northeast of Edmonton as being sort of the focal point and the pioneers of it. They make your community more livable. When you see plants growing, when you see like actual food coming out of where you live, it, it just makes you feel like, you know, this is like a healthy place.